<laughs> heard about you. You heard about me. <laughs> yeah. Background. I finally got my background looking a little better. Move this to make it a little bit better, and I got lighting. I think it's some good lighting. I can't really tell, but we're gonna make it work for today. Anybody else that wear their high school sweatshirt, I swear, it's the only sweatshirt that I freaking have. And it's been doing its job. Like, it's been doing its job for the past seven, eight years. I'm, I still love my jacket. Senior 2000. Okay. So, what's up, you guys? This is Jasmine, and I am here with another freaking video um today's video is going to be about just basically school and my journey and where I'm at so far and what took me so freaking long to get where I am right now which is not even really started yet I'm st still got so much more to do okay so I first want to start off by saying that I love my family and I think we all have those times where we wish we could have went back and just kind of did things just a tad bit differently but you know that if they hadn't gone the way that they went that life wouldn't be the same or you probably wouldn't have the people in your life that you have right now so first I want to thank God for the people that I have especially my children they have changed me dramatically um so school I have never fully interacted with school when it came down to homework um I was always in another frame of mind and the reason behind that I'll make another video when it comes to that um is a little bit more personal and touchy so I'll, I'll definitely do another one on that um but when it came down to school, I was never really into school from very, very young. I was never into school. So when I got into high school, it was my senior year, and I literally just dropped out because I was pregnant and I was sick, and I didn't have anybody there to just, like, push me. I know if, if I had not just stayed inside so much if I was around family more and that's my fault that's not my family's fault that's my fault if I was around family more I believe that I could have definitely been a lot better or I would have finished and when I say finished I mean finish high school I I had gotten pregnant around what November December ish um of 2010 and I had my son Jay in 2011 August 2011 and I think it might have been like January of 2012 where um, the new principal the principal that they have now at, at my uh, old high school she called me and say look if you can come for two hours it was like from one to three and finish these two English classes then you can walk across the stage and graduate and I was like hell yeah I'm, I'm gonna do that you know that's that's easy two hours let me see if I can find a babysitter I found a babysitter and at the time I didn't understand um, child care I still really don't understand child care but I didn't understand that you can go through the system and like some kind of way they help you um i'm sorry about the lighting y'all see that is it's kind of like just hold on but yeah i was like you know let me find a babysitter so i found a babysitter and she worked as a child care provider or something like that she all she had been working with children for a long time they told me that you know they weren't good people and that um, 
you know, it was it was just not a, a good place to have my son. So I immediately went into, um, you know, well, what am I going to do? I don't have anybody to watch them, uh, watch him, excuse me. So if, if I had more people behind me to take him and to, you know, watch him for those couple hours, um, I would have definitely finished, but I'm not going to blame that on them. I will blame that on myself for not making myself more educated about that, about childcare. So after that, it just kind of like went left. I stopped going because I didn't have anybody to watch him. I was also working. I met Andrew shortly after that. Um, it might have been like February around my birthday. I might have, I was turning 20 years old when I met him. Um, and that was going on and going on. And then uh, we had my son's first birthday. And then I found out I was pregnant for my second child. So when I found out I was pregnant for him, I instantly was like, okay, it's time for me to go and try to see if I can get my GED. I started moving towards getting my GED and I was pregnant with him. And yet again, I failed myself. I was sick and I was tired and I was uncomfortable. And I was just like, you know what? I just can't go through with this. So some time passed. Um... Yeah, some time passed, and then time passed, 2015, 2013, I'm sorry, I had my son, 2015, I had my daughter, and 2017, I finally decided to go and get my GED, and I passed it. I really started getting my GED in 2015. I was taking little pieces, and it's like I just couldn't get that math and that science to just, like, work with me. So I wind up getting my my GED in 2017, and here we are in 2018. All my children are in school right now, ages seven, five, and three. And um, you know, I'm in school now. Everybody's in school. It is a battle to have everybody in school. You always have to work around everybody else's schedule. You know, finding a babysitter seems to be easy but when you're the type of mother who's been through a lot as a kid you have to take a step back and think about what type of pe person or people you have around your children or in your household so it makes it just a tad bit more difficult um and I'm making it a difficult situation because I feel like if nobody else do it I should so back to school um right now i am in i'm in college and i took the acuplasia test before i started school and that was like it wasn't heartbreaking but i know i did study for it i think i probably just didn't it's a good chance that i just didn't study hard enough um i took the math placement test to see where I needed to be when it came down to school and they automatically put me in remedial classes so right now I am in English 001 and I'm in a UNIV which is a university class it's not bad I mean everybody who's coming from seven years of school seven years with no school excuse me would only wish and dream to be able just to start in your prerequisite classes such as myself um it's not for everybody everybody learns differently everybody some people remember just from looking back in a book and some people don't and I'm just basically here as a testimony saying that no matter what you go through no matter who hurt you no matter no matter what you can always go back no matter what age i'm 26 so i'm definitely pushing forward more so for my children because i feel like they deserve it more than anything school is it's school you know you make a couple friends you learn a whole bunch of new things 
you apply it the best that you know how and you make it my grades are pretty good so far this semester um my next set of classes i'm trying to get in three because right now i started off with two just to work myself into it so right now i'm I'm looking to see if I can get into three classes, which I'm going to take an English, another English, a math, and I'm hoping a biology, if I can test out of UNIV uh, 1008. Um, this message in this short story is basically just to say, hey, no matter what you've been through, it doesn't have to hurt you it doesn't have to hinder you from getting and going where you want to go um my end goal for school are my next step after taking all of these classes and the prerequisite classes i would definitely like to get into the nursing program at the school that i'm at right now um I don't want to say exactly how far into the nursing business that I want to go until I can finish this part first so I'll be popping in and out when it come down to school right now I think I got about two or three semesters depending on how I do it because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be taking summer classes as well so depending on what's going on i'm gonna try to pop in and out when it come down to school and you know make more videos about it and just kind of let y'all see what i go through in the day when it comes down to school i have a, a day in a life which is you know it's a kind it's still new so i'm still figuring it out but i hope that this was helpful to somebody somewhere saying that if you feel that you want to go back to school you do have to prioritize your life but you have to make it something that's a bit on the mandatory side i made it mandatory in the beginning and i kind of lost my way towards the end but i'm back on track my grades are good they could be better but they are good and i'm definitely going to pass if you like this video give this a big thumbs up and subscribe um, welcome to Naturally Jazzy. Um, I hope that this will help. Again, I hope that this will help somebody somewhere. And I hope that you guys come back.